Oh man, that's unbelievable. So you drew, so the art that you, that we have all seen, I mean, the, the, the page of the artwork that we've seen, mm -hmm. the, um, the one that you put out there for, that you drew for him for the theme mask, is that, is that the first thing that you sent to him then in response to that? Uh, yeah, there was actually maybe a handful of other, about one or two other concepts where until I was able to really fine tune what he was getting at, because, you know, there's, you can't cradle a mind like that. And I know it seems overhyped and I'm not trying to, you know, you know, toe the line or say the right thing, or I'm serious when it comes to a mind for wrestling and creativity, I personally have never met anyone like him. So when he is sending me all these things and I'm trying to formulate a concept out of it, it was initially very difficult. I thought I'm getting this one and I'm, I'm the, I'm my own worst critic. So I'm second guessing everything I'm doing. I'm like, I, this can't be what he wants. And I think, I don't even know if I even sent those to him. Actually, I might, those might've just been thrown away. But uh, the one that now everyone has seen, I think I may have had like the pencil sketch of that it wasn't quite finalized. I mean, I've had color laid into it or anything necessarily because it was still just a sketch. I was just like, is this, I was so afraid to send it. I thought, I don't know if he's going to like this or not, but, and I don't know at all the context of backstory yet. I have no idea that he's already attempted to get this done elsewhere and it wasn't working out, which I'm glad I didn't because that amount of pressure, I would have just crumbled. But he, uh, I sent him that sketch and, you know, he popped for it and which was just such a relief. You know, he's a, he was, he's very supportive by the way. So he was extremely hyped about it. And um, I, you know, finished it off and I got a good shot of it and sent it over to him and, you know, for a while after that, it was just, I, I, you know, I'd be updated with uh, the the build, uh, what Jason um, Baker was doing up at Savini Studios and just kind of sending me the in-progress stuff. And he's like, hey, this is what we got started so far. And then I, I thought it was so surreal because I actually wanted to go to Savini Studios after school. Um, unfortunately, we were, we're, you know, I couldn't get any kind of loan program. I couldn't go. I, no one's going to treat Savini's uh, makeup effects studio like a college. No one's going to give me a... Uh, you know, a grant or anything to go to school there, and my family and we didn't we didn't have the money to go up there. So, uh, so here we are. Ironically, never could make it. Always wanted to get into creature effects and design, and now here's my artwork in the background hanging up on a wall as a reference guide, while this sculptor for Savini Studios, along with Tom's uh, guidances, and however much involvement he had, and I, I don't know, but uh, here it is. Here's my art inside Savini Studios being made into a mask for a pro wrestler that I've already or was a fan of. So. Wow. very very surreal situation to be in just as a fan but also you're just trying to be a professional because this is what you do but you know you realize this is not your usual customer base so it was uh that was pretty bizarre wow man, so that's it incredible. seems like when he gets an idea in his head he kind of goes a thousand miles a minute would you say that's an accurate statement absolutely that's the most accurate thing anyone <laughs> said in this interview so far <laughs> because uh my uh actually my uh my oldest daughter is sitting next to uh, next to me here in my living room and she can attest to this when he called that night and uh when he was on the phone he's very he's not loud he was just very excited and his passion comes through and he was just really really going you know going to town on the phone call and i remember by the time i hung it up uh, both my daughter was to my left, my wife was to my right, I believe. And I remember they, they cause you could hear him, you could hear him across the whole living room <laughs> and just very animated. And, uh, so pretty intense. And I think the question was kind of like, what was that? And I was like, so then I had to explain what was going on, which is a strange story to tell somebody. And then you sit there and realize I have to design a mask for what is going on right now. So it was a, it was a pretty intense conversation. You know, he's a very, very intense guy. Even when he's quiet, which is just, then it's just scary. Then I don't care for it. 